In this short video, we're going to um, show you how to convert between exponential and logarithmic form. Exponential form uh, can be written generically in the form a raised to the y equals x. Logarithmic form that would be equivalent to that would be the log of x base a equals y. The one thing that you can notice going back and forth between these two is that the base in the exponential form is the base on the logarithm. All right, and then it's your base raised to the exponent is where is what you set the logarithmic um, form equal to, and then you're taking the log of the answer of that exponential form. Okay, so these are your two forms going back and forth. So we're going to do four quick examples showing you how you would go back and forth between the two. Okay, directions here just say write an equivalent statement. So if you've got exponential form, we'll be writing the logarithmic form. If you have logarithmic form, we will then be writing the exponential form. In this first one, I can look at this and I can see this is exponential form. So the base is 12. 12 raised to the third power equals x. So I'm going to make sure that my 12 is my base when I go to logarithmic form. So I'm going to go the log base 12. All right, and then the exponent has to be what it's equal to. What I'm taking the log of is the answer of that exponential form. So then it would be log of x base 12 is equal to 3. Okay, taking a look at this second example, we've got e raised to the y equals 9. So my base is e. All right, so if I continue to use the same form, then I might want to um, write down the log base e, all right, and then what it's equal to is what I'm taking the log of, and then equals to y. All right, now you're going to look at this, and you're going to do natural logarithms, natural logarithms, and then base e. You're not going to want to leave it like this, because whenever we have a base of e, then that's when we are referring to the natural log. All right, so if you were to just immediately not recognize this was going to be a natural log, and you wrote it like this, that's fine. I would then just recommend that you write this as the natural log of 9 equals y. Okay, um, this has the base of e. All right, in this example right here, I have the logarithmic form to start with, so that means I want to go to the exponential form. I know that because I've got the log in here. The base on the logarithm has to be the base of my exponential form. My exponent then would be whatever it's set equal to, and then equals whatever I'm taking the log of. So written in exponential form here, I would have 5 raised to the second equals x. And in the last example, um, even switching this around, it doesn't make any difference whether the log's on the right or left. I still here have a base of b. The answer is going to be the exponent, and then 64. So this would be written as b raised to the third equals 64. All right, so just four quick examples there of going back and forth between exponential and logarithmic form. This is going to be really important, one, when you're evaluating logarithms. Um, it can also be used when you are trying to solve exponential and logarithmic equations. All right, lots of applications, and you should be able to very quickly go back and forth between the two forms. Um, thanks for watching. Be sure and give me a thumbs up and share with your friends. Thanks.